when I started uh, Louis Monet, uh, which was actually 15 years ago, the first four years it was like a laboratory to identify what was the brand DNA. And when we started, we had vintage movements, which is good, is nice, it goes well with the name of Louis Monet. But for today's market, I don't think it is so interesting to tell you the truth. So uh, then, uh, it has given us our roots to find that Louis Moinet is the inventor of the chronograph. So many of my customers today, they tell me, I don't know Louis Moinet. And I tell them, oh, very simple story, you know, Paris, 1820, the Silicon Valley of that time. Paris is the world capital for watches, and uh, there are two friends. Uh, they work together, they are passionate about watches. The first one, Mr. Breguet, invents the tourbillon. The first one, Mr. Moinet, invents the chronograph. So I think this is a fair summary of uh, the name of Louis Moinet. And around this central, cent central pillar of the chronograph, we have uh, branches that are all in this concept of mechanical art in limited editions. Today the world is a little bit difficult to understand. I see around me that there are new technologies, so some Swiss, traditional Swiss watchmakers, they go for connected watches, some others, others they believe it is not part of their future, and I see a lot of hesitation in this culture of watchmaking. For me, it is quite clear that if you think of the Swiss watch industry, it should not exist in theory. If you think of the mechanical, mechanical watch, it should not exist neither because it's a technology that was invented more than 200 years ago. So it is still there and I think it's very unique in today's world that the technology lasts for more than 200 years. What does it mean? It means it's a product of patrimony. There, is, there are these people that work today that they have inherited from their fathers and grandfathers some technologies that even today they are difficult to understand because of different recipe, different secrets, different mystery linked to the manufacture of the product. But the Swiss watch, per se, you know that in the total world, in terms of number, is very low. We speak about 2% of the total uh, watch output worldwide, but in value is more than 50%. So it really means that the added value is extraordinary. And this is what, where our contribution is, to create objects of art that are for enthusiastic people that want to discover and to share this culture. We have three new products. The first one I mentioned to you already is Sidralis. It's a double tourbillon, inverted, with very large cages, powering a complication, showing three planets. They are hand-painted. Uh, they incorporate the métier d'art, as we say in French, traditional micro-painting on aventurine, is something that I believe has not been made before and on this watch we have applied for two patents. The second one is a limited edition, only 20 watches of memories, the chronograph watch featuring also some uh, micro painting and enamel in the back for, for the dial, enamel for the dial and micro painting for, for the back plate with a unique technique mixing uh, guilloché uh, with some engraving machines, something very, very special. It's showing you some little stars in the sky, depending on the light, they are either, either shiny or matte. It's like if you switch off the light, and all of a sudden the, the watch is, uh, is alive. And we did that because Louis Moinet invented uh, the chronograph for his astronomical purpose. He wanted to keep his eye on the planet and to have an instrument, time device, that he could use freely without looking at it. So astronomy and chronograph, they have something in common for, for Louis Moinet and for this watch in particular. And the third one is called Black Gold Derrick. It's a tourbillon with an animation. Uh, the automaton is part of a watch culture 
and in this watch it is used um, to evoke um, uh, the importance of uh, oil drilling so the turbulent powers uh, an arm that uh, shows uh, Derek and for the first time we have done this watch completely skeletonized uh, with uh, black PVD so it's where it takes his name black gold from uh, the case is in white gold and it has something new as well is a little oil barrel that rotates on itself and indi indicate the second you know we are an independent company we have our place on the market sales is the barometer and uh, so far it has been uh, very good we have been profitable every year since our creation 11 years ago the money we make we reinvest in product development I think this is a big challenge not only for us but for the watch industry in general since uh, the appearance of digital technologies people are very spoiled they always want new emotions it means that product cycles have become shorter and shorter and if you look at us for the past three years we have brought three new products on the market which is uh, should it be for the time or for the investment uh, a big amount of work for us but if we do not do like that and if we show our customers and visitors that we have the same showcases like last year maybe we only change the dials it would not be good we would not have our place on the market a nice watch is part of uh, the human culture and at the end of the day we are not robots so i believe in human beings and i think uh, the watch industry has a bright future